Candace Cameron Bure is the queen of the Hallmark Christmas TV movie. Christmas just ain't Christmas without chestnuts burning on an open fire, Jack Frost nipping at your nose, and Candace Cameron Bure on the Hallmark Channel. The Fuller House star has appeared in six Yuletide TV movies for the cable channel, by our count, including one a year for the past five years. She's practically a Christmas tradition at this point. For this ranking, we consulted IMDb user ratings to sort all six of Candace's Christmas TV movies from best to worst. Or from Holly and Jolly to Lump of Coalworthy. In what must be a ploy for Outlander fans, this movie had Candace playing a World War II nurse transported through the decades to 2016, thank the magic of the so-called Christmas Comet for that particular wrinkle in time. Christmas Under Wraps, 2014 Candace plays a third-year surgery resident who intends on following her father's footsteps and joins a prestigious hospital fellowship. But she's no Meredith Grey, so she's put on a waitlist, after which she takes another job opportunity in a remote Alaskan town, that town, for the record, is named Garland. Let It Snow, 2013 Candace's character, an ambitious hospitality executive named Stephanie, flies to Maine to renovate a ski lodge her company just acquired. And she clashes with the ridiculously attractive property manager there. Switched for Christmas, 2017. In this parent trap meets the holiday tale, Candace pulls double duty as twins who envy each other's lives. And decide to swap lives. And, as luck would have it, both twins happen to have handsome fellas in their lives. Moonlight and Mistletoe, 2008. St. Nick Crosby's year-round Christmas village, Santaville, has seen better days. So daughter Holly, a. K. A. Candace, returns from her high-powered position in the big city to breathe new life into the attraction. And yes, romance is involved, so don't think that mistletoe goes unnoticed. A Christmas Dieter, 2015. The titular Dieter takes Candace's character, Paige, to an airport hotel in Buffalo when a snowstorm grounds her flight. She has to get to NYC to meet her fiancé's parents, though so she relies on an obnoxious, yet devilishly good-looking, fellow passenger.